If you're watching this video, you've probably spent some time on the practice range beating range balls. And today we're gonna to show you the difference between the range balls that you're using and the premium golf balls they might be playing on the course. Hey golfers, Thomas and Drew back here on the driving range at Les Bolstad Golf Course for another unique topic, an interesting and hot topic as well. Uh, it's premium golf balls versus range golf balls. Uh, I know if you're watching this, you've spent a bunch of time on the driving range, myself included, spent a lot of time on the range beating golf balls, those range balls, and well, they're not constructed the same way that the golf balls used on the course are. So today we wanna find out just how much of a difference it makes hitting maybe a wedge shot, seven iron, and a driver because I think those are kind of the three different elements of golf shots that you hit on the course. So, so Thomas, um, talk, me, talk me through this. I mean, what do you expect to see here? Because we should also note too, not all range balls are the same. And some are, these are relatively in good shape here, but a lot of courses, they might not be as in good a shape. But what should we expect here from, from this? Because again, these golf balls are constructed very differently. I think it's, it's spin rate, it's launch angle, in its distance. Yeah. I mean, I, I believe that a, a range ball when you're hitting a wedge, when I what I've noticed is that it launches up the face, it doesn't spin, launches very high, and it just flies on a completely different profile. Sure. Uh, I've noticed with driver and seven iron the numbers still seem to be okay, but I really notice it with the wedges. Really? Interesting, because I know there's a the compression factor is the big difference, I think. You see that ball compresses, interacts with the face a little bit more when it's one of those premium golf balls. The material and the cover has a lot to do with that. You just don't see that as much with the range balls. So we'll hit a variety of shots, like I mentioned, wedge, seven iron driver. We'll capture all the data with TrackMan and we'll see what we find out. Let's collect some data. Six hundred on that spin. All right, premium ball. Oh yeah, you are hitting the driver really well. So Thomas, data collection complete here, and we have to start with the wedge because major, major differences between the range balls here and the premium balls. Uh, I think, I think spin has to be the biggest thing we look at here, right? Spin. Spin and launch. Spin with the premium golf balls was over 10,000, which is normal for you, right? That's what you expect when you're hitting a higher lofted club. Uh, you're going to get 10,000 spin. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, that dipped. Basically, it's cut in half with the range ball, down to 5,888 on average. That's an outrageous difference. And so I think it shows that, I mean, it also speaks to if you are, maybe there's a short game area at your course mm -hmm. and you're working on pitch shots. You know, that's another thing to think about is try to use a premium golf ball, the ones that you play on the course for that because you're gonna see major differences there too. Yep, if you have the chance to work on your wedge game at a place that's like a, like a little wedge range, use the ball that you play with. Yep. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory there if you can. If not, try and hit a few shots on the golf course. Mm -hmm. If you're playing by yourself or it's pretty quiet on the course, try and hit some wedge shots with a premium ball. Right, yeah. and uh, the, 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 so the spin was different, also the launch angle. Seven degrees. Seven degrees yeah. of difference. I mean, you could just watch the shots. The, and you had, you had mentioned it in kind of the, you know, before we started, um, was you kind of see that, that range ball almost glide up the face is what you've noticed from the past. And then you don't see that premium ball. And you can certainly see that ball is taken off, you know, seven degrees higher with a range yeah. ball compared to the premium ball. So completely different ball flight and something you can't really, you know, I mean, that's, you can't prepare for that by hitting range balls and then go to the course and your wedges are, you know, launching at a completely different trajectory. So uh, something to just consider when you're warming up on the range and you might see a different ball flight than you're used to, it's probably the golf balls. The best golfers in the world, they flight down their wedges. It's hard to flight down your wedges with a range ball. Correct. Yeah. Uh, now moving on to seven iron and driver, I kind of want to clump them together because there was not a ton of differences there between both of them. We did notice a, a somewhat significant difference in spin with the seven iron, but it was the range balls that were actually spinning higher. And the funny thing is the, the seven iron with range balls spun 1300 RPM more than the wedge. So that's when you know things are not quite right. Yep, it's crazy. And yeah, I mean, 
it's amazing. You're generating more club speed, but you're getting uh, you know, you're getting more spin. Yeah, uh, it's it's uh, it's it's crazy. I it's, you know you got so much more loft on a on right. a sand wedge, but I mean we're talking yeah. about 22 degrees of loft more on your wedge. Yep, and I mean and that's very abnormal. I mean usually the the standard is you kind of go up with spin the higher loft is your club right? right so that was that was different for sure and i think um that's something to note as well that it, it seems like the seven iron spun with the range ball is even a little bit more potentially but i'm looking at all the other metrics here uh in terms of height uh and in terms of launch things like that spin i mean the rest was pretty similar with seven okay. iron it really was the the height difference was only five feet uh, with seven iron, uh, we're talking about spin, we talked about that was only about 600 to 500 RPM difference. Carry distance was a three yard difference, a little bit more distance with the premium ball just because they're a little lower spin. Yep. So, and launch angle was within a half a degree. So, something I think there's, there's positive and negatives here, right? I think golfers that go to the range, I think, can take away that, you know, full swings, probably a good indication of how they're hitting the ball, what they should expect on the course with the premium ball. It's just a short game with the wedge, it's going to be a big difference. Right. What about driver? Yeah, and kind of that same pattern. Uh, spin was about 140 RPM more with the premium ball. And again, these were it was kind of a, a hodgepodge of premium golf balls here. Uh, but the range ball, you know, I mean, same range balls here from Les Bolstead, great condition. Uh, mm -hmm. But they were at 1819 spin, 1954 with the premium ball. Distance was right around 290 carry for each, 315 each. On total, similar so, ball speed numbers, mm -hmm. similar launch angles. Yep, 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 yep. Launch angle was 14.8 to 15.3, so half a degree once again. Yep. So all pretty similar across the board with driver and seven iron. There's not a ton to take away from those two portions of the test. It's just that that wedge game, that short game. It's crazy difference. Yeah, and then coming back to the short game feel, feel is yeah. is the is the probably the biggest. Thing you're going to notice when you're hitting a range ball which feels like an absolute rock off the face versus a premium ball which feels so much softer and feels just so much better off right. the club face for yeah. sure for sure also yeah. before we wrap up i wanted to commend you for your dispersion uh because i think your smallest dispersion pattern was maybe with driver which shows just how dialed you are off the tee right now so i just it's wanted to point this good. out i expanded it i mean look how i mean i mean I, Look at that. <laughs> it's Feeling ridiculous. So yeah. we have as good of a tester for this type of thing as there is out there. So uh, anyway, Thomas, thank you for hitting all the shots today. We drew some conclusions for sure. And I think golfers can take some things away when they go to the practice range, practice area. Next time they have some notes in their mind uh, to take uh, with them and they'll be prepared for when they play next. So yeah. really good stuff here. Yeah. Just know if you're trying to uh, work on your game with a wedge with, free, with range balls, it may not be exactly what you can see on the golf course. For sure. Well, golfers, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment. And tell us about any differences you've noticed with range balls to premium balls. And also give this video a like. Thanks again for watching.